Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in the game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. All right, so we're here at the West Practice with Colorado State tight end Kevon Cartwright, a guy who really stood out to me today, yesterday as well. What did you want to come in and, and really establish as one of your, your strong points in front of these personnel folks and, and scouts? Blocking, definitely. You know, I mean, um, you know, my um, game has been heavy as a receiving tight end, running routes, catching routes. But, 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 but I mean, early in, there's been some doubt on me in line blocking, block, blocking, blocking big D. And so I want to make a statement that I'm, I'm a complete tight end that can do both. You know, I, I, I can run routes, create mismatches, but I can also bang in the trenches. One of the things I notice about you is that you have really soft hands. I mean, in red zone, you had that nice, the nice catch on, on the corner from mm -hmm. Vernon Adams. How did you develop that catching ability? Is that something that, that you've worked on throughout your career or did it come naturally? You know, it was it was definitely hard hard work, you know, in um in um college, me and my roommate would, would we catch a thousand balls a week, you know, just 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 jugs and jugs. We it, we stay after every every practice catching at least a hundred balls, and, and you know it, it, was, it was kind of a thing that, that we just did on Saturday nights, off season, in, in any any time we'd be in there sometime in, in the indoor at two two a.m. in the morning catching balls. So it, it wasn't something that was natural when I was younger, but I've I've worked on it. And I've I've worked hard on it. I'm glad you mentioned the jugs machine because I, I know there were plenty of times where I had to catch footballs off the jugs machine. A lot of people who never did that. They don't understand how much that helps you. Can you just touch a little bit on how that helped your catching ability? Repetition, you know, just um, turn your head as soon as you see the ball, just catch it. I'm, 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 a lot of people don't catch the ball because as the ball's in the air, they're thinking, okay, I got to catch it. How am I going to catch it? The, the, this, that, and the other. If, if you're catching a, a lot of balls, you don't have to think about it. Just come second age. When, when you're running, when you see the ball, you don't think anything. You, you just catch it. You're thinking about the tuck. You get upfield. So so it, 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 it just, just kind of alleviates some of the, the stress of like catching the ball when you got guys running at you. You know, you're, you're getting bumped. You don't think about catching it. It just comes naturally. You're working with NFL caliber coaches now. What are some of the things that you've been able to pull from them and, and how can some of those things help you moving on to the next level? Just technique, technique, technique. You know, um, high school, college, you can get away with, with, with being bigger, stronger, and faster. Mm -hmm. at, at, at the next level, everybody can run. Everybody is going to they're going to be bigger, stronger, and, and faster than you. So, so to, to, to succeed at that level, you got to be, you got to drill the technique. So you, you got to be fundamentally sound. You got to drill the technique. And and we have a coach out here, AJ, who's developed with virtual reality. So so the, the, the first day, you know, the Titans, we kept messing up. We kept messing up one route against a certain coverage. So he, he got us on there with, with the, the whole the virtual reality really? thing. And, and we drilled that route. So we can see it, we can see it, and we haven't messed it up since. There you have it. Colorado State tight end, Kevon Cartwright. Keep an eye out for him. Very soft hands. And as you mentioned, developing as a blocker. Thanks for coming on with Thank us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.